It's Ezra Levant for the Rebel Dot Media here in Paris, France. I'm here on Boulevard Voltaire, and behind me is Bataclan, the concert venue, one of five locations where Islamic State terrorists attacked in unison on Friday night, murdering or injuring about 500 Parisians. It was a coordinated military-style attack. There is no doubt about it. Paris is at war, a war that has been waged for years. Earlier this year, there was the attack on Charlie Hebdo magazine and a kosher supermarket. What is it like to be in a city that's at war with radical Islam, and not just any city? There are cities at war with Islam from Beirut to uh, Damascus. But what about a great Western liberal city, Paris, city of light, city of the Enlightenment, city of Napoleon, city of Western civilization? What is a city like that like when it's under attack? Is it in denial? Is it in alarm? Does it even care? And that's why we're here in Paris. I don't think we'll actually learn facts about the terrorist attacks by being here that we couldn't learn back in Canada. But what we can learn is how Parisians respond, both old stock French Parisians, how they feel about multiculturalism, unlimited immigration, the place of mosque and state, but also new immigrants too from Muslim countries and non-Muslims. Do they believe that Islam and the West can be reconciled? Do they support Sharia law? Do some of them even support the Islamic State itself? These are the things that we can only learn by being here. And more importantly, these are the things that we can talk about in a way that I believe the mainstream media no longer does. Over the course of the next few days, we'll talk to Frenchmen, and my friend Gavin McInnes will be joining us as we make these inquiries. Gavin is best known as a comedian. I don't expect he's going to tell a lot of jokes when he's with me here in Paris, but he has an incisive mind, and by being the politically correct man that he is, I know he won't shy away from some of the difficult questions that we need to ask. There is a very important reason for us to do this besides understanding what's going on in Paris, and that is to chart our own course back in Canada. As Canada contemplates taking 25,000 migrants from the Syrian terrorist war zone in the next month, we need to think with a clear eyes about what risk that entails for our own country. Are there lessons we can learn from Paris's atrocious costs so that we don't have to pay those costs ourselves. Stay with us in the days ahead. You can sign up for daily updates at therebel.media. I'm Ezra Levant.